Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about an experiment called as effect of substrate concentration on the activity of enzyme acid phosphatase. So we all know that acid phosphatase belong to category or the enzyme class hydrolases. and it is a marker enzyme of organelle which organelle lysosome so it is a marker enzyme of lysosome and as the name suggest acid phosphatase so acid phosphatase works best in the acidic ph and as the suffix ase have been added over here it is an enzyme that we all come to know so it is a marker enzyme of lysosome and it works best in the acidic ph so here you uh, here our aim is to find out the effect of substrate concentration on an enzyme acid phosphatase the enzyme source which we are taking is potato extract so the source of enzyme is potato extract and we will be calculating km and vmax so we all know that when the enzyme concentration is constant generally when the enzyme on concentration is constant it is a substrate concentration that will determine the rate of enzyme activity or the rate of reaction so when the enzyme concent uh, when at very low uh, concentration of substrates only few molecules of enzyme will be able to bind to the uh, substrate and they will be making enzyme substrate complex but when the substrate concentration is in ample amount and when the when the point reaches as uh, all the enzyme molecules will bind to the substrate then a steady kind of reaction or a graph will obtained which will be a rectangular hyperbolic graph so first initially we will get a first order kinetics but after that an intermediate at an intermediate concentration of a substrate a mixed order kinetics will be uh, observed so if the activity of an enzyme is determined over a range of substrate concentration a curve which is similar to the rectangular hyperbola which will be obtained so uh, we can use michaelis menten graph we can plot a michaelis menten graph and we can study the enzyme activity and effect of substrate concentration on enzyme activity acid phosphatase so let us move on to the procedure so here you can see in the observation table of our procedure here we have added substrate called as p nitro phenyl phosphate p nitro phenyl phosphate the concentration taken was 15 millimolar so this and first tube in the first tube we have not added pnpp 0.0 ml stands for no pnpp so that is a substrate blank okay and further in further tubes we have added pnpp in the increasing concentrations in the increasing concentration afterwards we have added citrate buffer which was of ph 4.8 as i said acid phosphatase will show its activity at 4.8 ph so that is why buffer for maintaining the stability of a reaction we have used a 4. buffer of 4.8 ph which is a citrate buffer and 1 ml of citrate buffer we have added in each tube we have compensated the value volume by adding uh, distilled water to each tube according to the substrate volume so if you have taken 0.2 ml of substrate we have added 0.8 ml of distilled water and we have compensated it as 1 ml further we have added enzyme extract 1 ml enzyme extract into each tube after that we have incubated our tubes for 10 minutes at room temperature or at 37 degree in the incubator you can incubate and after that we have added 0.1 normal nooh why we add nooh to stop the reaction and 3 ml of nooh we have added after that i have given over here a final concentration it should be in in millimolar it is a, a concentration in millimolar okay so and uh, then i have taken od using a colorimeter at 420 nanometer using a 420 nanometer wavelength i have taken od that is optical density or which we call as absorbance and after after that using these od values and concentration substrate concentration i have plot the graph which you will be able to see over here so here on x axis you will be able to see final concentration of uh, substrate 
in micromolar and on y axis there will be od values at 420 nanometer and this kind of rectangular hyperbola you will get whenever you are plotting a graph it is necessary to uh, mention the scale on the x axis and y axis what what scale you have taken it is necessary to mention the axis names and the title of the experiment so this you have these parameters you have to state on your graph paper now let us see why we get a yellow color in this particular reaction so as i told you how does acid phosphatase works basically so acid phosphatase is a common esterase or as i said hydrolase uh, it belongs to enzyme category hydrolase but it is a esterase which is found in almost all cells but majorly it is found in lysosome and it is a marker enzyme for lysosome so it will hydrolyze the ester bond between the phosphate group and the organic residue of organic phosphate so it will hydrolyze the ester group which is occurring so acid phosphatase will hydrolyze the ester group uh, between the phosphate group and organic residue of organic phosphate and optimum ph is 4.8 so at this ph what it will do with pnpp let us see so this is the structure of pnpp here is a nit nitro group so no2 p nitrophenyl phosphate nitrate group so pnpp in the presence of acid phosphatase so it will get converted to p nitrophenyl phosphate will get converted to para nitrophenol phenyl phosphate is getting converted to para nitrophenol and this phosphate group phosphoric acid it is getting released so this reaction will occur and p nitrophenyl which is formed it it is in yellow color uh, at alkaline ph as we have added naoh it will uh, stop the reaction and will give alkaline ph and uh, acidic p acid at acidic ph acid phosphatase will work so this will be colorimetrically estimated okay so this is how the reaction occurs now let us come to the calculation of km and vmax now for this purpose for calculation of km and vmax uh, we have to draw line weaver burke plot okay and for calculating the line weaver burke plot which parameters we have studied let us go into that so here you can see i have also uh, written over here observation table for control series in which i have added pnpp which is a substrate concentration after that uh, which is a substrate citrate buffer as i said to maintain the ph of reaction we have to add buffer of ph 4.8 after i have added distilled water and then we have added incubated it and added naoh but you can clearly make out the difference as you can clearly make out the difference we have not added enzyme extract as we have added it in the previous one that is here you can see enzyme extract is here in the experimental series but in control series we are not adding any kind of enzyme okay just just that is the difference and we have taken the od after that for calculating the line we were per plot it is necessary it is always plotted as 1 by s on the x axis and 1 by v on the y axis so for getting that values let us see what i have done so here substrate concentration 0 1 2 3 4 5 millimolars so these are the values and 1 by substrate concentration so i have taken reciprocal of 1 by s that is 1 by 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 and 1 by 5 so i got these values after that i have taken the od of experimental so od of experimental which i got it from the this particular table so these these particular od values i have taken and i have taken a um, i have just mentioned their values od of control from the above table in which we have not added enzyme so so that those control values i have written over here i have subtracted the uh, control values from the experimental values and i have taken the reciprocal of this particular column that is 1 by v that is 1 by od now after that what i have done is i have plotted line weaver burke plot now it is a normal graph but uh, as we get some negative values also so for that purpose i have uh, we have to draw it like this and 1 by s is on the x axis and 1 by v is on the y axis and after that we have to plot whatever 1 by s values we have calculated so we have to take the scale accordingly so the point of intersection on the y axis which we get it, it is 1 by v max it is like this so i got the value as 17 over here so here it is 10 here it is 15 and above that it is 17 so 1 by v max i got the value as 17 and 
here you can see 0 and here comes negative so I, here I got the value minus 1 by Km as minus 0 0.47 so at on x axis we get the value as minus 1 by Km and on y axis the intersection value we get as 1 by V max so if you take the reciprocal of these values as here I will show you so here I got the value 17 as I told you 1 by V max so if I take a reciprocal of 17 that is 1 by 17 I get a value as 0 0.05 millimole per second because it is a velocity so velocity is expressed in this particular unit that is millimole per second and km for calculation of km I have taken the reciprocal of that intersection which I got on the x axis that is minus 1 by km the reciprocal of minus 1 by km and km is always expressed in millimoles per liter so the unit is millimoles per liter so it is very mandatory to explain uh, write the unit and express it in proper units so from the experiment we conclude that for the activity of enzyme acid phosphatase vmax was found to be this much 0.058 millimole per second and km was 2 millimoles per liter so this is how we can calculate it so the few things which you have to remember in this particular experiment is a what is the principle how does pnpp that is p nitrophenyl phosphate reacts with the acid phosphate acid phosphatase and it gets converted into para nitrophenol you have to uh, identify what is the category you have to you must be aware of the category of enzyme how does it functions where it is found what is its source what is the substrate used over here and what are the units of km and vmax how to plot the line weaver work and michaelis maintain plot that's it so thank you so much